Hi, I'm David Peterson, here with another Mouse Guard architectural model. In this instance, it's the round room from the Feather Knighting print, which is an 18 by 24 inch print I did several years ago, about a mouse who surrenders his weapon so that he removes his lust for killing and slaughtering of beasts in favor of joining the guild of archivists, scribes, and thinkers. He wants to make intelligence his weapon and wisdom his armor. I started sketching this idea out and wanted a room that was just full of as many artifacts and mouse guard Easter eggs as I could fit in. And when I was drawing the room, which was going to be a round room, I didn't like the perspective. Drawing circles in perspective is tricky. So I decided to scrap the, the drawing and build a practical model for the background. Sometimes when I build these models, it's because I have no idea what the room is supposed to look like or the, the 3D environment is supposed to look like and I discover it by, by adding and subtracting pieces of cardboard to one another and exploring the shape in three dimensions. In this instance, I already knew what it was supposed to look like. It was just a matter of making a reference model that had all the geometry appropriate. So the first thing I did was take a piece of cardboard and draw out a circle on it. Now, I don't own a compass, so I probably scrounged for something. I'm not sure what that is, but looking at it, it looks kind of like one of our bowls. Uh, just as an example, I'm gonna use a piece of chipboard here and a round container of um, some kind of lotion or something. And with a pencil, I traced around it until I had the circle of the floor, the diameter of the floor. For the walls, which are made of Bristol board, I took a flat sheet of Bristol board and measured out even increments on it in pencil. And then wrapping that around the diameter of the circle that I had drawn on the cardboard and gluing it in place, I had my markings for where all of the beams would go. Now some of the beams are made of chipboard, which is what the back of sketch pads and drawing pads and notepads are made out of. And then some of the pieces, these corbels and the ceiling beams are made of basswood. Uh, I get basswood from my local um, uh, hardware store. You can get it at hobby shops. It's used a lot for dollhouse. It looks like balsa wood, but it's not as, um, it, it's a hardier, stronger thing. It's, it's more dense. Uh, balsa wood is almost like thin sheets of styrofoam. You can dig your nail into it and make a significant impression. Basswood is hardier stuff. Um, at the hardware store I go to, you can buy it in a bag that's just a scrap bag. Um, you don't know what sizes you're getting. You can go to a hobby store and buy it by the piece, uh, almost like you're going to a lumber mill for full-size lumber. Anyhow, with the uh, wall wrapped around and me making some repetitious pieces on the jigsaw of basswood, um, and cutting some pieces to length, either with uh, the jigsaw or just a hobby knife, I was able to construct the room as a whole. To make sure that these models last, though, I had to do some exterior rigging. Um, I found out very early on when making mouse guard reference models that if I didn't put the work in at the beginning, uh, these wouldn't serve any more than one use. Now, Granted, I haven't used this room more than once, except now I get to do this video about it. But it's nice to have the models hold up, either because people want to see them, or because I might revisit this room at some point. Um, to reinforce it, I took a piece of uh, chipboard, and using the exact same diameter, drew out that circle and cut it out so that I had a perfect encasement circle, encasement uh, frame to go around the upper rim. And then just scraps of cardboard to give it a little bit more bracing. Um, it's mostly glued together with hot belt glue, although some of the details from the uh, chipboard um, beams uh, were glued on with a super glue. Uh, I hope that you enjoy this model. I hope that you are inspired to try to build models of your own. I find that, uh, like I said, you, sometimes I have an easier time um, 
imagining a 3D space or figuring out what a 3D space should look like by designing it in three dimensions, but other times even just playing with um, what angle, even if you know what the room looks like, once you have it built, rotating it around until you figure out what proportion of the ceiling versus what proportion of the floor or or if a room has corners, unlike this one, how much of the, the corners do you want to see? Uh, it really helps you visualize your final piece. Now, obviously, this was just a tool. When you look at the final piece, you can see that there was a lot of drawing and redrawing and filling in of gaps. Um, every one of the white spaces on the wall of this model ended up becoming some kind of shelf or display cabinet for things like crowns and... Um, birds eggs and books and scrolls and and uh, all sorts of things that play reference to every mouse guard story and book that uh, I could scrape something out of that was published up until that point. So thank you very much for watching this video and enjoy. Mm -hmm.